the Tajik nationality. The Tajiks live in the east of the Pamir Plateau, knowing China as the root of the world. The region is seen as holy land because it is one of the nearest places to heaven in the world. For the same reason, its inhabitants are called people living in the clouds. There are over 33,000 Tajiks, the majority of whom live in the Texkurgan, Tajik Autonomous County in Xinjiang. While still speaking their native tongue, they now use the Weiwar language to write with. The Tajiks are followers of Islam. Animal breeding is their main occupation and arable farming a supplement. Their embroidery and weaving are famous. The heroic eagle has a great symbolic meaning for the nationality. Tajik herdsmen play a flute made of the eagle's wing bone that produces a particularly thrilling sound. Tajikuzu the Tajiks live in a half nomadic, half settled life. For most of them, the Zhangfang dwellings, similar in shape to the Mongolian yurts, provide a movable home. The Zhangfang is a simple, handy structure which can be easily disassembled and transported from pasture to pasture. Winter shelters are usually set up on the sunny slopes of a well-watered, fertile mountain valley. When summer comes, the people move to the mountain areas higher up. Their homes are elaborately decorated with splendid and colorful tape strings, carpets, and rugs in a distinctive Tajik style. Of the Tajiks living on the Pamir's plateau follow the Central Asian style. Men's clothes are simple. They wear slanting colored crowns with no buttons, similar to those the wayworths wear, mostly in black blue and white. Their trousers are made of leather, especially good in winter. To go with these are an embroidered waistband and a round high crowned hat with a turn-up brim. The hat has a velvet surface and a black ship skin lining. Tajik men often hunt a knife from the waist, which they consider handsome and manly, especially when they ride on horseback. Tajik women dress beautifully. They love red or florid patterned blouses and skirts edged with lace that are worn beneath the black waistcoat. Under the skirts, they wear trousers fastened with a colorful belt embroidered aprons covering the hips, and soft-sewed boots. Women's hats are the most distinctive feature of the Tajik costumes. The cotton-padded hats have delicate patterns embroidered with silk threads of many colors. Very unusual is the brim, which can be turned up or down with flaps on either side, depending on the weather, which changes so rapidly on the plateau. Tajik women cover the hats with long gorse scarves and strings of dancing pearls and silver ornaments hung down behind. They also enjoy wearing earrings and necklaces made of various round-shaped precious stones. 
Dairy products are a major part of the diet of Tajik living in the high pastures. Along with meat and wheat products, those involved in arable farming live mainly on wheat products, with milk and meat as a supplement. Foods specific to the nationality include a mixture of rice and milk cooked as porridge, a cereal made of milk and flour, roasted pancakes soaked in butter, and dry fan, steamed rice eaten with their fingers. The Tajiks attach much importance to etiquette at the dinner table. When meals are ready, guests and elders of the family take the seats specially arranged for them beforehand. Mutton is cooked for most important guests who come a long way. At the banquet, the host presents what is considered to be the best part of the meat, the sheep's head, to the most distinguished guests who accept the offer by cutting a piece off, eating it, and then returning the sheep head to the host.